can't believe you did all this. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to call the hospital, see if you're pregnant? I will not? call tomorrow. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure, Jason. It's Valentine's Day. And you went to a lot of trouble putting all this together with a little bit of help, and I just want to fully appreciate every single detail. You want to dance? Why did you get so romantic? Uh, you surprised? Dan, totally embarrassed. I mean, you show up at my door in that dress, and you want to spend Valentine's with me, and I, I didn't even get you a gift. I wasn't expecting anything. That's beside the point. I'm supposed to be trying to win you back. I didn't even think to get you back of those cheesy candy hearts. You want to give me a gift? Just have fun tonight. That's a given. I'm with you. So what are we going to see? Oh, it's the, um... It's the one where this girl gives up everything for a guy and then finds out that he lied to her. And she stabs him to death. <laughs> Brenda is not postponing the wedding. I've already sent out a press release. She's supposed to be getting married in a few days. Her dress is in shreds, and the wedding site is under an entire foot of water. I've already arranged for another dress. And salvation for the sabotage site is coming directly from the heavens. <laughs> We're going to pray the pavilion dry? Um... No, the Jekyll has charted the sun's location in relation to the celestial equator, and I'm happy to report that the Archer Pavilion receives two hours and 57 minutes of sunlight every afternoon. So between evaporative physics and a slight upgrade to the motor of the wetback system, I can assure you no, not an ounce of water will remain in the pavilion prior to the ceremony. Wow. Uh, okay, ten minutes prior, two hours. I need more time than that to set up. Well, according to the Jackal's calculations, the site should be ready for prep within 16 no, hours. Forget it, we can't take the chance. You know, I'll call in a few favors, see if we can get the tea garden. Y what? Well, the, the tea garden is is indeed serene, but I feel it's my duty to point out that, you know, Mr. Sir might take exception to saying his vows in front of a Buddhist pagoda. Sonny has people killed as an adjunct to his business. He could use a little zen. That settles it. The tea garden it is. Oh, no, I'm if you're sorry. here to weigh in on the flowers, oh, you're too no, late. They've already fine. been ordered. I'm here to see my bride on Valentine's Day. How you doing? Oh, no. Do you see the, the flowers I got you? The wedding is Friday. Do you have any idea, hello, how much Brenda has to do between now and then? Wait a minute. I thought you were doing everything. Oh, be that be reminds me. I picked up your ring oh, from the jewelers. No, 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 you're not. No, 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 no. I thought it was bad luck to see the wedding dress, but not the ring. But Show him. Considering how cursed this wedding's been from the beginning, it's, uh, what's one more bad omen? Where's Megan? The head man told us to move her before you showed up. All right, do yourselves both a favor and tell us where the girl is. No one gets hurt. You're not running the show, detective. The Balkan is. Look, your loyalty means nothing to the Balkan. He'll leave you both twisting when all this is over. I'm afraid the only one who's been left twisting is you. Even my sister. Now drop your gun. Or what? You'll shoot? Don't test me. It won't end well for you. Now drop it. Do it! Tie him up. I don't know what you're doing. Siobhan, I'm trying to help you save your sister. Be surprised. I mean, enough people warned me, even you, all those hints about not being able to trust you. You should have listened. Well, I wanted to believe you. 
Look, I'm sorry that it's come to this. I truly am. It family counts more than any cop I happen to be sleeping with. You haven't said much, are you okay? Yeah. I'm just thinking about how grateful I am to have you in my life and how this is the most perfect Valentine's Day. Well, I mean, it could be better if you would agree to maybe have a bubble bath with me. Settle for dinner okay. instead? No, no, I made it. What? What? Uh, it always surprises me when you cook. Uh, it always surprises me when you cook, too. Come on, <laughs> my cooking is not that bad. I tell well, you, it takes a lot of skill to make a BLT, and mm -hmm. just because I happen to run the toast and I'm gonna cook the bacon doesn't mean that I'm a bad cook. Well, I've never doubted your toast-burning talent. Okay. It's good. So you're not with me for my cooking? Why are you? Because I know what my life is like without you. And I want you in it. No, look, it's not, it's not because, I don't, it's not because I think that I'm pregnant, Jason. I'm not. I can't be. One way to know for sure. So I'm, I'm curious, what made you change your mind? I mean, I showed up at your door with a couple of opera tickets and, uh, you basically slammed the door in my face and, and now we're on our way to the net. Yeah, well, I, I felt bad and I thought I would make it up to you tonight. You got good taste in operas. You've seen this one. Yeah, it was one of the first ones my aunt took me to see, and the, the ending is crazy. The jilted lover takes her knife and stabs the guy right in the heart. It's pretty intense. I can't wait. Yeah, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Why don't, why don't we just skip the opera and go for a nice, quiet dinner, champagne, candlelight, no knives? Oh, oh, well, uh, these tickets are non-refundable, so... Uh. I'm just happy I get to be spending a romantic evening with you. Assuming that's what this is and I'm not about to suffer a similar fate. Oh, yeah, I tried to fit a dagger in here, but it wouldn't fit. It's too oh, small. that's good. So I have nothing to worry about. Well, unless you lean too far over the opera box. <sighs> you made it very clear you don't like me or the fact that I'm marrying Brenda, so let me make something clear to you. This wedding is going to go on whether you approve or not. If you marry Brenda, there'll be a permanent target painted on her back. Obviously, I know the risks, Suzanne. No. You are operating under the mistaken belief that love conquers all. Well, it doesn't. Or clearly, Sonny's wives would still be drawing breath. Okay, I'm asking you, please don't do this. You took the words right out of my mouth. You are a smart woman, Brenda. Back out before it's too late. I don't think you completely understand that I have to spend the rest of my life with this person. However brief that life may be. And the divine one's life expectancy will undoubtedly decrease if the nuptials are moved to an alternate site. Uh, the decision's already been made. Yeah, without discussing it with the divine one, despite the fact that it is her wedding and she should have the final say. Brenda? Sonny? N men don't care about the details. Yeah, well, I, I do care about keeping Brenda safe. All evidence to the contrary. Jason has a plan for the Archer Pavilion. That's where the ceremony will be held. Pacheco is pleased to see that he and Mr. Sir finally see eye to eye, okay. as it were. So, you want to stay in my good grace? Mm. Leave. Okay. Oh. Leave my good And you know what, all of you, sir? I want to spend some time with Brenda on Valentine's Day. Oh, I'm afraid that's not going to be possible. Not with you here, it is it? Uh, for death, for damn sure. Actually, we were just getting started. 
Uh, I went all out, okay? I took her to a fancy French restaurant, had the box of chocolates and a dozen roses waiting at the table when we got there. This is so romantic. Right? Here's the problem. The waiter was her ex. <gasps> so when, <laughs> when I got there, I mean, he starts, uh, instead of talking about the specials, he ends up uh, uh, tearing up and apologizing for ever breaking it off with her. By the time the appetizers came out, they were back together again. Ouch. Yeah, ouch is right. And here's the kicker. She ordered the most expensive thing on the menu. So not only did he get the girl, but I got stuck with the bill. Did not tip that dude. That is not right. Mm -mm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, well, I'm not sorry. Because uh, if I had stayed with that girl, I would have been broke within a month. <laughs> yeah, he's saying she's a gold digger. But, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Can you get another one, please? See you there in the morning. Come on, let's get you home. You know, I just realized I um, it's not often <laughs> that uh, I'm out with someone sane. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of talking about all these crazies who've been doing me wrong oh, no. all these years, I should focus on the lovely lady. Hi, I, I like hearing the stories. Actually, it makes me feel better about myself. Glad to know I'm such good company. <laughs> Well, ideally, I'd like to be spending Valentine's Day alone with my wife. But since I don't think that's going to happen, I will settle for sitting at the same table. 